Hello, I am Dr. Jesse Carney Smith, librarian at the Franklin Library here at Fisk University. As the editor of several books of short biographies, such as Notable Black American Women, published by Gale Research, I have had the privilege to research the lives of some fascinating people, none more colorful than that of stagecoach Mary Fields. Born a slave in Tennessee around 1832, and finally finding her way to the Montana Territory, Mary Fields was as rough and tumble as they come, and a true legend in her own time. Here on Nashville Digital Magazine, we'll take a brief look at what an encounter with this imposing, powerful woman might have been like. But sister, I'm telling you, I've looked all over these here parts. And ain't nobody that's got time to do no hauling for the government. All the good drivers is trying to get their crops up before winter sets in. And you come here saying, you got the answer to my prayer. Look, I ain't calling you no liar, what with you being a nun and all, but it's just, it just, you. Oh, but sir, I do have the right person. They'll be along directly. And yes, they are the answer to your prayers. The Lord does work in mysterious ways, you know. Mary? Mary Field? Aye, that's just perfect. I believe no formal introductions are really necessary. So, I's the one you're gonna heard about. And what I'm about to tell you is the natural fact. Well, I can now shoot any man in these here parts. Oh, if they Well, I can shoot the dive off a newborn neck at 300 yards. And it won't even have to wipe it sick. Well, I can outwork 10 mules you know, and some you don't know. Well, I can out smoke, out drink, and out cuss any two bag of food you ever seen walking. Well, Mary, will you behave yourself? Sir, I've been trying to teach her manners, but it just seems to me sometimes it's a hopeless cause. I hope you won't. No, 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 no. Heck no. I don't want to hear no more about it. No way, no how. You could be joshing me, sister. It ain't no parts of your little joke the least bit funny. Get me a hope, sister. Can't no woman do no right. I can too, hell, this here, John. Ain't that a joke? If the mail of the passengers has got to get through, I's the one to get them then. She can be pretty determined. And I can completely vouch for her honesty. Look, I, I don't want no part of this. But what the hell? Oh, look, I, I got mail that's got to leave right now. Right now? But you can't send man nor beast out in this storm. I didn't think no I woman. ain't afraid of no hard work. And I sure ain't afraid of no little bitty storm. The only thing I fear is the Almighty Himself. Well, I leave right now. Where's the team hitch? Over there. Now, don't you fret none. It'll be fine by and by. With the good Lord's help and your prayers, we'll pass safely over these here waters. <laughs> Stagecoach Mary Fields eventually tamed her temper, becoming a beloved part of the Cascade community. The high esteem in which she was held could be seen in the privileges she was given, from drinking and smoking with the men to the townsfolk honoring her twice a year 
or whenever she declared a birthday. Mary Fields died in 1914, her grave marked by a simple wooden cross, but she lived as one of the freest souls ever to draw a breath or a 38. To find out more about Stagecoach Mary Fields or any other subject, take time to visit and support your local library. Thank you.